Hey guys, this is Booligan with Airsoft Retreat, BooliganAirsoft.com and Airsoft Insider Magazine. Today we're taking a look at the Elite Force IWI Tavor 21. Now this is the professional version. There are two versions of this gun. There's the less expensive version and the more expensive version. This one is the more expensive version coming in right around $300 at AirsoftMegastore.com. Now, you may recall previously, a few years back, I reviewed the licensed... Uh, Explorer version of this gun, the one that had the polymer gearbox. Um, now this one has a few modifications to it and it is 100% better for it. Uh, it now features a metal custom gearbox. Uh, the body feels much, much nicer. The one that I had before had a lot of creaks. You could like bend it in certain ways and like the magwell would flare open and drop your mag and stuff like that. This one is much much, much more solid. It's very, very well built. You've got an extended barrel. Uh, your overall barrel length is right around 20 inches. So it's actually right around M16 length in something that is clearly much smaller. That's the nice part about the bullpup design. You have a uh, functional bolt catch, opens up, allows you to access the hop up. And by closing it, you're also decompressing the spring. Push this little guy right here closes it and if your spring is in a compressed position, it will decompress it and uh, prolong your spring's lifetime. Um, now, performance-wise, this thing's shooting right around 410 FPS using 0.20 gram BBs. And in my performance testing, of course, I use my tried and true Tenergy 11.1 volt, 1000 milliamp hour, 20C LiPo battery, and it seems to like it just fine. Now, this is a blowback model. You'll see a little bit of bolt reciprocation here on full auto. Now it doesn't, it has a micro switch trigger system. However, it's not like a shot completion MOSFET or anything like that. So you may end it on a shot that leaves the bolt kind of cocked half back. Um, your battery compartment is up here. You've got plenty of room for most small battery types and it fits my LiPo just fine with plenty of room to spare. I could probably tuck a second light bow in there if I felt particularly inclined to do so. Your flip up sights are adjustable, but just barely. Your front sight is adjustable for elevation using a tool and for windage using a screwdriver and it flips down. The rear sight is just a very basic peep sight and it doesn't appear to be adjustable at all, but it flips out of the way if you want to mount an optic. Now you may recall last week I had my G&G Elkin Spectre DR type optic on here and it fit beautifully. The thing worked absolutely fantastically on there. Your controls are theoretically pretty ambidextrous. The thing that isn't ambidextrous, um, which I believe you might be able to switch it over, that's something I'm going to be testing out in my full review, which will be coming to BooliganAirsoft.com shortly, is the selector switch. You've got a selector switch, safe, semi, full auto, and you'll see that you have a corresponding arrow on the other side that shows you where your selection is. Uh, there is a screw on here. I'm going to check to see if you could flip that around the other way. And maybe this thing has ambidextrous um, selector switch. Otherwise, your magazine release is located here. And it works fine. The gun comes with a standard M4 type magazine, but this is my PTS EPM. And it works great. Feeds very, very well. Fits in there nicely. Um, your bolt catch, as well as the spring release, here that spring release, is also centrally located. The gun features a quick change gearbox, or excuse me, a quick change spring system for the gearbox. And if I'm able to punch this pin out right here, just need a quick tool to do that. You can flip this down and you can access the quick change spring guide, which will allow you to adjust your FPS on the fly, um, more or less on the fly. I mean, you're not gonna be doing it in the middle of the field most likely because you want to make sure that you chrono it correctly and you want to chrono it in between any spring changes that you might have. But if you get to a field, say this thing's shooting around 410 FPS, that might be a little high for some fields. Just budget in a spring and you can quickly, quickly change it out in a matter of seconds. It's a very, very handy feature. But overall, you've got a gun that is fairly well balanced for a bullpup design. All bullpup guns are back heavy. That's how they run. Um, it looks great. The thing feels fantastic in your hands. Performance is good. It shoots a little bit higher than I'd like, but honestly, for something with that much inner barrel, it, it's a gun that'll work well in CQB because it's bullpup and it's short. However, 
it really is designed for you know long range field use and it does that just fine as well um, again around three hundred dollars at airsoftmegastore.com and uh, it comes with uh, elite forces uh, warranty for factory defects and things like that so you're in good hands if you do have a problem that comes up with your gun so be sure to check out the full review which will be posted on airsoft retreat and booligan airsoft and of course as always thanks for watching